Hey guys, this is going to be a more in-depth uh, review of the Atherin Genesis SD70 ACE. Uh, I had one before, but the dish light was burnt out, so I went back to uh, MB Klein and uh, picked up a new one here. So uh, I'll do a review on this one. I was impressed. Uh, their prices are good, first off, but uh, also they didn't charge me anything. They just said, uh, when'd you get it? And they gave me a brand new one. So this is it. It's the uh, BNSF SD70 ACE 9290 with sound so uh pulled out here you got your bright blue box and um gold genesis logo there nice box um the other ones are yellow but this one's kind of cool it'll i don't know it's just different so when you take this off you know you just set that over there uh, first off what you got is um your pamphlet with the uh, locomotives, their road numbers, rosters, and then you have schematics for the different road numbers, road names, and uh, the different parts for those. Uh, for example, the um, nose, like the when the lights in the nose, and up here when the uh, lights in the cab. So uh, all those different road name prototypical stuff and their parts listings appear on the left. Then as you move through the book, you know, same stuff. When you get to your truck diagrams, your handling maintenance, lubrication. Um, and then finally you got light bulb replacement, uh, disassembly, decoder installation, tools, and uh, that's about it. It doesn't really say anything about programming. They got some, you know, nice pictures. You can all look at that when you get it yourself. So, uh, set that there. Next what you got is your other news. I'll just let you all speed read that or get it yourself. And um, then next, lastly, you got Tsunami and uh, the different features, 16-bit hyperdrive, all that wonderful stuff that we're all so interested in listening to. Sound effects, uh, let's get started. Just telling you that um, it's been optimized for its CVs, but I'll probably do a video once I change some of the CVs around. Um, and then it gives you the functions there. Uh, one is the headlight, one's, well, no, zero is the headlight, one's the bell, horn, um, the short horn, brakes, effects, lights, headlight dimmer, mute, all that uh, great stuff. Next is the foam. Um, you can use these foam for cold loads if you cut up, like just cut it up a little bit, and uh, then you lay it inside the coal car, and it looks like coal. So that's kind of cool. So then we finally get to the train itself. Uh, it comes out of the box. It's pretty secure in there. Uh, this time I don't think any of the number boards are out. Let's check. Oh, they're both in there. You got the ditch lights. So it looks like they put this one together right. Uh, it's like the regular Atherin ready to roll um, little buttons. And then it's got the sleeve on the outside here. So, uh, that. take the top off there. And next, I'll uh, take the little rail guards out and I'll use um, a screwdriver for that. So, oh, so carefully without breaking the little handrails, which are, uh, they're thin. They're kind of, they're not flimsy as long as you're not poking them or, uh, you know, picking it up by the handrails. I don't think you'll really have a problem. So I'll just do a little visual inspection of it here. Uh, the paint is pretty vivid. I'm liking that. So we'll start up here at the front right. Uh, we got pretty crisp uh, paint right there. And uh, you can read that SD70 ACE. A uh, little front, a uh, little F right there, which you can read in person. I don't know if you can read it on the video. Then you got a uh, piping, sand, and a uh, little truck on there. Uh, when I was in the store today, I was looking at the MTH models, and I think the uh, underframe detail is better on the other than it is on the um, MTH. So that's uh, pretty impressive. And then we move along here. We got uh, more piping on the underframes. Uh, little grills here. They're um, see-through, although the frame is back in there, and it's solid, so you can't really see through anything. Uh, you got the steps on the top, and unlike the SD40 T-2, ready to roll you uh, actually have the I don't know what you call it it's rough though it's not just smooth plastic um, so it's detailed for where the f people walk 
Uh, you got coloring on the fuel cap there and all that. And there's paint, there's stuff written there. I can't read it, although right, the yellow one says caution, so, and you can read the little thing there. So it's very possible you can read it. My eyes just aren't that good. And uh, then we get to more piping down here on the trucks. And um, let's see here then. More piping down there. The wheels, they look blackened, so that's nice. They're not real bright and shiny and flashy around your layout, so that's also good. And more detail on the trucks. The uh, You can see through that. Um, and when you turn it, you know, it's like that. So you got the see-through grills. Then we go to the back here. We got the multiple unit hoses. And once again, we got those see-through grill-like things. And still real crisp paint. Uh, lift hooks on the edge here. And then we'll flip it around here. And um, same deal here. You got lots of detail on your frame right there. Sand and blackened wheels. Same crisp paint. Lift hooks on the side. And that one right there you can read. So I, I'm, I'm assuming you can read all of them. You got your uh, handrails, which they're kind of, I mean, they're not terribly flimsy, but they're very fine. Let's put it that way. Then we come back here to the front. Got the uh, light bulbs there, which do stick out a little bit from the front of the locomotive, although it's not really a big deal at all. So uh, that's that. Then you have your McHenry uh, scale knuck knuckle couplers, which are significantly smaller than uh, just regular Bachmann uh, knuckle couplers. Metal grab irons. And then uh, the cab comes off here for uh, adding of little figures if you want or if you need to replace the light bulb and the lights are normally up in the top that's uh, how you access that and we got your uh, sun shades and little wind shades there so uh, that's pretty nice the visual and then we get to the top here got the prototypically correct GPS dome some of them kinda look like an X the other ones are just smooth um, got lift hooks and little vents there nice fan detail right there there's the fan fan cover the fan blades and then there's little hoses leading to the fan which I imagine are power it's something but it's nice and I got um, more detail up there on the top then back here we get to this fan and uh, it's metal it's nice and the sand filler and then finally do the underframe regular knuckle coupler uh, pockets and all the wheels and a one-piece fuel tank yeah my SD60M has a two-piece fuel tank so uh, set it on the track here and we'll uh, see how this thing goes and I'm using the Digitrack Zephyr so I'll plug in locomotive 3 there and then we uh, can start this up and see how it runs so turning on the power now Oh, it starts up by itself. Now, uh, personally, I think the sound is pretty nice on it. Although I'm not running anything else right now. It's perfectly loud enough for me. So that's that. Uh, let's try giving it a little power here. Uh, first we'll do the bell and uh, the long horn, short horn. Uh, we got ditch lights. Both of them are working this time. The uh, headlight dimmer. And that's about it. Oh, the mute button fades out and fades back in. The lights, also they fade, they don't just go off, they fade. They fade out and fade back on. That's nice. And alright, let's give it some power and see how it runs. Now I don't know about you, but that's a uh, pretty good slow speed performance if you ask me. Very nice sounding locomotive. I like that. And let's uh, 
back it up here. Put that rear light on there. And the engine's revving up again. I'm really liking this one this time. Uh, everything's working, so it's pretty nice. A little bit more power. Alright, put some cars on it. Alright, so I'm gonna give it some power now and uh, run it around the track. And those are the Walther's uh, Gold Line coal packs on there. I'll take this off here and uh, do a little overview. So the sound is still very audible. It's not too quiet. Um, so I don't really have a problem at all with the sound. Uh, I don't think the ditch lights oscillate, but on BNSF they're not supposed to, so that's not a problem for me. So, um, yeah, that's about it. That's just running down the layout here. I'll slow it down here and give you one final drive-by. Again, very nice slow speed. back down to idle. So that is the uh, BNSF SB70 ACE from um, Athern Genesis. Uh, I'd say it's a really nice model. I recommend it for all of you guys. Um, so that's it. Thanks for watching.